Hello, I am Endlessness and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. Today I would like to bring you a guide for the Unlock Battles 1 to 5 in the Golden Bomb Rush event. Those Unlock Battles are essentially the same thing, the same boss with two adds. They only get a little bit more difficult with each stage. As far as I've seen, it's always 20,000 power in between them. And Unlock Battle 5 currently is the highest we have until at least the part 2 of the event will arrive and I am expecting it will be the same boss, just will get a little bit more power. However, just to go over the boss, it's the Spooky Balloon and from my experience in this game, he always gets a physical shield and lightning shield, so for the most part you'll have to damage him with wind and when he gets a physical shield then you get you do a lot more dps with any magic attack so i would suggest Aerith with wind might be a very good character or even you can just damage him with wind materia however those two dorky faces i would suggest take care of them immediately as fast as you can because if you leave them alive for too long, they will debuff your both DPS characters. So they inflict both physical attack down and magic attack down. So if you can, I, I would suggest to avoid that. Also, if you see my team power level, it's only 174. So it's pretty much on the level of the recommended power for this battle. I tried to dump down my team as much as I could and as I suggested, if you have Wind Aerith, you could just put her here and use her as DPS. However, I'll be using Sephiroth with Aurora, just to pretty much for the whole battle. And Cloud, yes, he has the Murasame as always, but he will be also using Aurora Blow for most of most of the time. And Zack is just a healer. On Cloud, I would suggest. If you have, use the Ramu summon. If you have the Thunderlands, that's fine. However, Judgment Bolt is the most recommended. And you only need pretty much one Materia if you have even 5 star Murasame. So you can use those two other Materia slots as stat sticks. Also, the second weapon is also pretty much stat stick, you don't need it. And as you can see, I have only one sub weapon, so. You can use two other slots to buff your HP and physical attack, but both my DPS characters, they only have 2000 physical attack, so that's fine. Same case with Sephiroth. I would also suggest if you use Materia and you don't have, for example, Murasame, then you need Wind Materia and Thunder Materia. Other than that, that's this pretty much the same thing, depends on the character on the characters you use. As for Zack, he only has the heal weapons and the, the, the Cura, just because with this weapon it has the all Cura slots, so if you put in in this slot then it basically works like Fairy Tail. And also he also has two heal boosting weapons, so his heal is only 1.6 which is fine. Alright, from my experience this battle always looks the same, Spooky Ball always does the same thing and if you have more power, your, your team is stronger than the battle it, itself is just quicker, that's all. However, it always goes the same. Right now I'm just trying to get rid of those dorky faces because they already debuffed both my characters. However. When you see the the boss do bolt pistols, you always want to shield from that because this is the only attack that really hurts. However, uh, yes, I am already debuffed, so I am switching. However, in defense you don't really take much damage. Again, bolt pistols, switch to defense. You can actually wait for Zack to heal. And now switch back to offense and continue damage. Heavy Bash, it doesn't really do that much damage, so it's fine. And now I 
Dorky face is dead, so I can switch only to boss. Shield again and continue to DPS. I am always waiting to that for that max stance. And always defense and switch back to offense. I don't have much DPS. Oh, this time I actually tried to be cheeky and heavy bash. And it's pretty much just the same thing. I would suggest do not use your, your limit breaks, but wait a little bit. Here's the threat assessment second analysis. And for a short moment, boss will remain vulnerable because as you can see that blue shield those two shields they disappeared so i will use my limit breaks here if you have ramu with judgment balls or the the first thunderlands then you can use it however here with my normal limit breaks it does it doesn't really do that much damage so we just have to get him down to 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 50% HP and then he will actually those both buffs those both shields that they, they will go away and he will become very very vulnerable however this battle is not really hard I would say it's just long because of those shields and, and buffs that the boss has also if he hurts you too much I would suggest bring, for example, a D Brave or a D Faith, because he also gets those magic and physical buffs. So if he if you see that he, he starts to hurt you too much and you can't survive that, I would suggest just bring those two materials to lower that attack. And right now he be became vulnerable, and that's where you want to start to DPS him. I am waiting for both of my limit breaks, however, yeah. The arm sweep really doesn't do that much damage. I'm just waiting for Zack to heal and we're good. Sadly, this is the fog and this is where your magical DPS suffers a little bit. You can bring also fog materia to get rid of that fog. However, I don't really think that's necessary. And like I said, if you have Ramu, then this ballad will be even quicker because Ramu does a lot more damage because Spooky Balloon is weak to Thunder. And we currently we do not have any wins summon in the game not yet at least but yeah this is pretty much a whole battle if i would have a stronger team then this battle will, will go much much quicker but like i said this is for a for newer players so you know how to do however only those bolt pistols that attack does pretty pretty good amount of damage however if you shield every time you see that animation, you're good. Especially if you're already level 70, then you have a lot of those nodes. Just do this and, and it should be a winnable battle. However, if you have a stronger team, this battle will go a lot quicker. I just change into a physical Sephiroth because with even if it's physical shield, he will still do a lot more damage. Also Cloud went everything into DPS on both of these so they have a lot more power and Zack just more into, into heal I don't need him to do anything so let's see how this one goes and again actually you could maybe try we'll see but I think it's a little bit too slow yeah if you want to do a little dip DPS, you could try to do one with Materia, however I don't think it's really necessary. Just go quickly over dorky faces. And 
and now we're good just on the boss and it should go a lot quicker Clark got the only one who's got debuffed so Zack heal him and we'll be good heavy bash yeah you can't you could try to de to go into defense if it hurts you but I'm not even I don't think if you have a strong team just ignore it prepare analysis that would be the same thing or even when he has a physical resistance that you does still 16,000 damage so it's fine and again storm barrier so we're back to doing more dps Bolt pistols and who yeah it will be sephiro this time he always switches target after that second threat analysis and still fine begin maintenance And that's also perfectly fine, we'll wait for breakdown. And now I will go with that to lightning breach and we will do this. And the battle is pretty much over. This is the power on Ramu. On this boss, he's incredibly weak to that. And just literally anything. Yeah, let's go with Thunder Strike. And that's it. This battle. Yes, pretty much that's exactly every battle. The the stronger your team is, the the easier and faster the battle goes. That's all. So yeah, I thought just it might be a helpful guide for the new players. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.